Good morning. What's up, guys? I'm Rip, of course, and we're back with another episode of Morning Bread and Butter. Of course, I'm joined by Mr. MYK and Kyle. Um, and today we're going to cover Armor King. Armor King, of course, Kyle joined us last time we did Regular King. Man, that echo we just heard a second ago is just me being stupid because this stage has the same music as the intro, and I got really confused. I was like, what the hell is going on? Let's go, Kyle. Let's talk about Armor King and what's good with him and all his key moves and all that good stuff. Um, all right, I'll start with his key moves. Um, the first move I want to mention is actually down forward one. Um, this is actually a very important uh, move for Armor King, and it's used by Armor King players a lot. You basically have nothing to lose. It's, um, it's minus one on block, and it's plus seven on hit. And it's a mid, and it's relatively fast too. Um, so yeah. Good um, range too, and 13 frames. It is 13 frames. Yeah. But 13 frames, uh, I mean, for a mid, Poke, 13 is relatively, like, really good. Yeah. Um, next, I would say, um, down forward 3. Down back 3? Oh, I've... oh yeah, down, down back 3. I'm sorry. That's alright. <laughs> down back 3. I personally like this move a lot. Uh, even though it's a bit slow, but it's kind of tricky. It's hard to block that for some reason. It's just that people will usually duck, and then they will stand up again. And they get hit. And it's... And on counter, you get like a full combo. Yeah. But it, on block, you know, it is super Oh yeah, dead. it is super launch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like minus 22, I think, on block. Mm -hmm. um, next is, I would say, of course, the Dark Upper. Oops, sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Dark Upper is basically his godfist in this game. Uh, it's one of the key things that separate him from King, regular King at least. Well, it's, it's true. Actually, um, a lot of people think that Armor King is a much better character compared to King because of his Dark Upper. Yeah, yeah and he also has a, a regular wave dash to do it out of, too. Exactly. Like, yeah. It's not really that hard to do. It has the properties of the like, regular Gotwin Fist of Yoshimas. It's minus 10 on block. But I think it has a less, um, it le a less hitbox compared to a Mishima, and it does less damage too. Just 28. Okay, but it is tag bufferable, so it is. So, yeah, you know, it it's is. a really good move still to whiff punish with, uh, especially. Yeah, you know, I was playing. Uh, I used to play Armor King back in the day, like uh, DR, and then I played him a little bit with Lars in this game in the beginning, mm -hmm. and I found that that uh, you do like hop kick then. Uh, his his win Godfist works pretty much just like uh, the Mishima's win Godfist in combos, where like if you hit it, Lars can always come and tag buffer it in the middle of a combo and get down back two. So you can make basically a hot kick tag buffer launcher. You could do hot kick then win Godfist tag buffer out. Oh yeah, wow! Okay. Yeah, you could get a red life combo that way. Well, um, yeah, one more thing to mention actually, it's mm -hmm. just that um, it is 14 frames, but it's like extremely hard to. Have the 14 frames one for using the dog test, wing dog test. It has, it is a just frame thing, and I guess some people think uh, that's what makes Armor King like a lot harder to use, and for you to like bring out this full potential. Um, next, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like a pseudo pseudo um uh, Armor King Shima. Um, pseudo. yeah, one more thing actually says that a lot of this. Uh, people do a common mistake when they play Armor King is that they try to play him as a Bishima because of his movements, his uh -huh. wave dashing, and his wind godfest. And it's not really um, a good thing to do, in my opinion, because he doesn't really have a health sweep, so you you don't really have a mix-up. If someone just like wave dash in front of you using Armor King, uh -huh. just stand up, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what if he does like, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, well, it has nothing. You have nothing to fear. It's just that you can't really be knocked down from your low move instead of like um, down back four. Right. Which yeah. Which is still kind of slow. Mhm. Mm so I think. That's kind of Kings now too, right? His doesn't spark. Yeah, it's it does less damage. Kings 
it's uh, slightly stronger. This is 21, and I believe King's is like 24. Yeah, and uh, really quick, another thing about that down back forward drop kick is that on block it leaves him grounded, right? Oh, uh, you mean this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he used, to, he used to stand him up in DR, but that's a good change for him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, when it hits, he like stands he automatically up. stands up, right? But on block, he's left grounded. Exactly. Um, should I move on? Yeah. Um, next so it would be forward two one. But this is one of my favorite moves, to be honest. It's fifteen frames, and you can hit confirm that, but it is kind of hard. Yeah. I was actually trying to hit confirm before we started, and uh, it's a lot harder than I thought it was uh, to oh, hit yeah. confirm. It is hard. I you mean, need like practice. Yeah, it's got a big to... delay window, but it's not free in that whole time, you know. So it's kind of like you, can... you just have to get used to it. Yeah, yeah the hit confirm is... window is smaller than the full delay for sure. Yeah, but it's it does like... wall splat. It's, it's a little bit. Hard. It's a little bit harder than Bob's headbutt, and Bob's headbutt's a lot harder now too. So. It is hard to hit confirm, just have to get the timing down and through to, uh, to practice. But it's just that one thing I want to mention is uh, you don't really want to get predictable with that because both are like minus 11 on block. If I do one, it's minus 11. Oh wow, okay. So if I do both, it's also minus 11. But of course, the second hit is high, so you can duck that and just easily draw it. Yeah. So. yeah. so yeah, you gotta be careful but when trying to hit confirm it. But other than that, like, you know. It's really hard it's, to hit confirm on, uh, just if you throw it out straight, too. Or just to block, yeah. I mean, to defend against or it's, duck against. It's perfect for a spacing game, but uh, if you don't know really how to hit confirm it, it, it becomes like very dangerous for your use. It's a double-edged sword, to be honest. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, first yeah, hit's like else? minus 10 or 11. Yeah, that's what he said. He said both hits are minus 11. Minus 11, yeah. both of them. Let's try the first hit with minus 11. Yeah, I just wanted to double check. Yeah, it's 11, so. Yeah. Yep. I'll do the... Uh, oh, that's do the okay, both. though. That's not, that's not too bad. First hit, minus 11. Okay. A lot of times... Yeah, people try to duck it or look for the high, so... Yeah, so it's really good, actually. You know, actually, a lot of people just... They get scared to, like, uh, punish the first move. Because I can just, you know... Yeah. Continue the string. Especially, like, behind a wall. Oh, yeah. You can get I mean, splatted. So you all you're really gonna try to do here is duck. You're not gonna be thinking to punish that first hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I think oh, the I safest thing to do... Is down jab, you, down, you can down jab option select like punish it because like it'll punish the high and still punish that. So yeah, I that's mean, the only option. Not much, but something, you know. That was yeah. Um, next would be um side step two. Oh side yeah. Step two one. The death sandwich. Yeah. Death sandwich. Nom nom. <laughs> Um, well, if you... it's a natural combo on hit, you get a full combo when it, like, hits. Mm -hmm. Do stuff. And if you do, like, one of them, it leaves the opponent, um, lying down. And you have... you can actually have a mini mix-up here, an Aoki game. If your opponent tries to stand up, you can just flip and you want to down. Yeah. Yeah, 3 plus 4 is practically guaranteed, because if they, it hits grounded too, right? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, it is, so it's just... Yeah, yeah and it's got to stay down. If they move, you know, three plus four, back turn down, down two or down one, crouch castle with tap up, then down two. Yeah, it's basically like a quick up down kind of motion to get yeah, the crouch castle to and, down two. Yeah. Yeah, so they do three plus four, back turn down two, then tap up down two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, another thing about that, the first hit I think is only minus eleven as well. Side yeah, two. It's, oh, it's minus minus twelve, I think. Real test. Ready to do it? Yeah. I don't think so. Is it? I'm fairly sure it's 11, but... Oh, it's minus 12. You're right. Good stuff. And um, if I do like 2-1, I think it's minus 12 as well. Oh, really? Okay. But it leaves you in full crash, so it's not too ah, bad. You jerk. Yeah, Let's just... do it one more time. I'll just confirm it's minus 12. Yep, minus 12. So against some characters, that's not too bad to just throw out the full string, I guess. Well, yeah, exactly. It's just that a lot of people don't even punish the first move because they think... Yeah, uh, the like, second one's coming. Yeah, even though, I don't think you can delay it, though, right? There's no delay. No, you, you can't can. delay it, so... You can't. You can't so it's delay like... It. It's just... It's just having it. Yeah. It's waiting for the second hit. Yeah, it's just all or nothing. It's 
basically. Um, yeah, what else? I would say, um, of course, running three. Oh, yeah. I personally like Armor King's version. Yeah, it's, it's a really good uh, really pressure tool. Yeah, exactly. It, it really has, uh, like, great frames advantage, and if it hits, without tech roll, you can just get a free shoulder. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Just Do it one more time, sorry. Stand, yeah, but, um, um, oh, okay. Hmm. Um, but of course, it is linear, so it can be like easily a sidestep. So yeah. Yeah, and I think also um, in certain situations, it's also a tech catch, like at the wall or something. You could use uh, the you, running oh, three. Oh yeah, it is. If you like, um, if you back roll, I can actually hit you with it. Oh, okay. Okay. Also. Need to space. Like. You say tech roll or back roll? Back roll, back roll. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we just stand, stand on the ground for a moment. I'll stay on the ground for a moment so you can catch up. Yeah, <laughs> so I can catch you. Yeah, so basically it's a back roll catch, yeah. but I think there's also a, a tech catch at the wall too, if you, um, after a down 4 2 1. At least that's what it says in the Prima Guide, which was written by that Eris guy, so it could be uh, right. No, no, no. The base play how it works is that you no. tech roll. Uh, I, I, I know this one. Uh, it's like you tech roll, and then the running three will hit you on your side because it hit. It's basically, you tech roll. Let's say armor king's on one P, and uh -huh. you will tech roll downward. So it techs to the left. Tech left off the wall, and then running three will hit behind him. And it yeah. still hits basically. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it, really? Yeah. It's hard to time because they could delay the timing on their tech roll, but uh, if they're just smashing it, it's easier to get it that way. Okay. So yeah, that's one more use for running three. That's something you can you also run. use forward forward one plus two to use uh, for the tech roll situation too, but that's hard to, to get the timing. Yeah. 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 Alright. Uh, Moving on. All right. Moving on. Next is obviously a split. Yeah, I oh, yeah. I almost forgot that. <laughs> um, for some reason, this move is just hard to block. I mean, maybe it just it puts um it puts the opponent away for some reason. It's just that when you want to play it safe, I think this move is very good because yeah, it's, that a natural, awesome. it's a natural hit, to, um, natural combo too. If you get hit by the first one, you get hit by the second. One. Yeah, and the thing is, there's there's no mix up out of it though, so both options out of it are mid. Um, yeah, but the mix up aspect, I think, if you just don't continue it. If you just do one flip and do a, like a down jab or uh, simply launch, just, yeah, I mean, this is the mix-up aspect, but there is no mix-up in terms of like the string, both of them are normal. Cool. Um, next is, I would say, the 4-4-2. Uh, 4 4 2 4 4 3 4 4 3 4 4 3 4 3 yeah, three. yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a high home move though, right? Yeah. It's a high. It's actually one of his his best homing moves. Okay. Uh, and on hit, you can... Can you stand up? Yeah. You get a, like, three ground throw. Mmm! Damn, that bounce! Oh, that wall splat's backwards? I didn't know that. But I can't really do anything to wall splat it. It's my character is recovering kind of too slow. Interesting, okay. Yeah. Down two? Oh, I see. No, what do you mean? They just bound him off the wall splat. No, oh, it looks. They, they looks like they're gonna. F I, it's gonna be a grounded hit. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it's a thought. <laughs> yeah, this is it. You're just side throwing him. Yeah, oh wow! Yeah, that's super slow. slow. It's really slow. Um. Yeah. What else is there? Uh, Crouch Dash 1? Oh yeah, Crouch Dash It's actually better than King's. Um, King and Armor King, they have a lot of moves that are in common. But for some reason, Armor King is like better than most of them. And this is like one of the obvious um, better moves. It has more damage and it's like plus 7 on block, I think. Plus 6? Yeah, it's I 6 or 7. Like, I'm not sure yeah, exactly. I don't really remember, but it is something yeah. big. It is something big. So yeah, even if it's huge range. 
great range too. Even on block, you can wow. just still do stuff. Yeah, you can, you can sidestep, like basically continue your pressure. Hmm. Um. Yeah. What else? It's, um, I mean, his throw game is pretty good. I mean, other than lows. <laughs> yeah. I just. Yeah. Uh, before we go to slopes are pretty good too. What was that? He said his lows are pretty like good too. Like his low folks. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I. I personally think this is why I'm a king is like a uh, better king to be honest. Even though it sucks for me, I'm a king player. But <laughs> honestly, honestly, speaking, you say you're a king player like you're not an armor king player. Are you serious? Oh, he's well, disgusted by armor king. Armor king's not. Crazy I play. played armor king because of king. Okay. Uh, but yeah, basically his move, his low moves are a lot, a lot better. Like he has a lot of low options mm -hmm. that are fast. He even has like safe ones too. Like down, down three is a great low, even though you have to like get close to your opponent, it's only minus 12. Okay. And on hit, um, I think it's like plus two or plus one on hit, which is like relatively good for a low move. His down three is kind of unique in this game, it has more range than like regular characters. Or down four? Any other yeah. character. Down four, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Down four. And it's like minus 13 on block. Yeah, so, it's great. Damn, that's annoying. But it's not. Yeah, it's, but it's not dangerous against like all the characters. Mm -hmm. like, with the right uh, matchup, yeah. you can kind of abuse this move. That's got a really good range. Some ca characters can't even punish it because uh, the the range, the range on it. If you do it like max range, they can't oh, even punish it. Yeah, I mean, that's why it's kind of unique. And like that. Yeah. Really yeah, just like that. But yeah, you guys get the idea. Um, Anything else for lows? Down by three, of course. Uh, yeah, we already covered that. I would say down three plus four. Oh yeah. Even though it's even though it's launch punishable, it's minus sixteen on block. But its range kind of makes it wow. deceiving. Wow. Yeah. And it's really, uh, really good on on hit. And you you can even have some like sort of a mix up with continuing this thing. If your opponent like tries to punish it, you can just. Hit him. Yeah, I mean, both parts are launch punishable basically, but uh, the extension oh, is yeah. there in case you think they're gonna block it. <laughs> both it, are minus 16. Yeah, so, so if your opponent like tries to launch you from the first move, he, he will get hit by the second. Yep. Cool. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for his key moves. Um, he, I, oh, yeah, what about no, no. his like one Lord, two? Lord, 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 oh two. my god, I hate this move. Yeah, my personal favorite. <laughs> this move is so annoying. It's like 20 something damage or something. 22. 22. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a it's low. Plus a lot. And he, like, especially when your back is to the wall. Like, uh, in this situation, like, you don't want to duck because 421 is going to wall splat you. And he just does 4-4 four, four, neutral 2 all day. Like, what are you going to do about it? Nothing, it you know? Exactly. And it's unseeable. If you, like, uh, if you have the right mix-up, your opponent really can't can really duck on reaction. Yeah, I mean, it is launch punishable, like you just saw there, but uh, it's really oh, yeah, good. It is, it is minus 17. But I think it's worth the risk because even on regular hit, it's, like, plus 7. And on counter, it gives yeah. you a full combo. Oh, sorry. Damn. Oh wow, well, yeah, it was a counter on kid combo. <laughs> you yeah. can go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah, basically you can just do a full combo. Yeah. Um, you know, one more thing about that uh the key charge, he actually has his old dark upper. Oh, I did it wrong, sorry. Oh, what yeah. the Yeah! Blue sparks! And all you gotta do is crouch dash one while you're doing the key charge basically. Oh, sorry. That's why I did it wrong. Yep. <laughs> and he also has uh, fire breath too. Of course, before it's plus two. Out of oh, yeah. key charge. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Flame. Yeah. The thing about that that uh the dark upper yeah, yeah. is that it's actually a mid. Yeah, it is. It, yeah. And it's safe too. I. <laughs> it's not tag bufferable though. Um, no. It's not. No, it's not. Yeah. Hey! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a waste, man! Wow, Mike, you sound like a robot, dude. It's crazy. Uh, uh, that's such a dope move. Why is it an attack buff roll? You'd be so sick if it was attack buff roll. 
Yeah, but it's not. Um, so anyway, moving on. That was his key charge options. We were talking about his low sword force neutral too. Great combo with King off of that. That'd be so sick. <laughs> uh, well, the best combo actually down was this. It just basically. Oh my gosh. Broke. It does 110. Who that was? That's a uh, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, and the thing that's good about it is that it comes out while they see you key charge, and they're like, so like if somebody, if you see someone key charge, you might just run in there to try and stop them, you know? But, uh, you know, meanwhile, all of a sudden he's just got this dark cover that's coming out, and it's freaking <laughs> mid. Yeah, it's, but in my opinion, I think it's like way too risky because even if your opponent like blocks, uh huh, uh, um, Armor King will still be like key charged. I can't really block at this stage, you see? Yeah, but then you can just like, I mean, like on block, it's got so much pushback, man. It's true, but. Look at that. Just, what am I gonna know, do? Like, I'm gonna come at you, and then you're gonna hop kick. Or you're just gonna back one me, dude. Like well, Steve. That's true, I think. Oh, we didn't talk about back one. Yeah, boom, counter it. Oh, yeah, yeah, back one. Forget about that. Oh, it's, yeah. actually, it's 12 frames fast. And on counter hit, you basically get a full combo. You just flip and um, do a full combo. Yeah, you gotta tell them, though, like, if you do the flip early, it won't flip them over, so you can't get Oh, the yeah, yeah. That's, so you have, to, you have to wait a little bit, so, like, they're a little bit more almost grounded. Don't worry about 3 plus 4 because 3 plus 4 will flip them over and it hits grounded, so don't worry about that. Just do it later, yeah, if you do it too early, it'll do that. Okay. Right. It's not really something hard to do, it's just that uh, you'll need to wait a bit. It's, it doesn't just have anything to... Um, it is timing, yeah. It's, it's really it's easy really timing. Hard. Yeah, it's, it's not really not easy hard. timing. You just, you just wait. <laughs> exactly. And instead of just doing it right away, you just wait for like... Or you can, or you can do stuff like uh, back one and then four, one plus two as well. If you want to keep it simple and just go into a tag assault combo, you could do that too. That's super easy. You can just bound right away. Uh, back one, yeah, and then four, one plus two to bind. Oh yeah. Or yeah, you could do down forward two as well. Uh, one thing to mention though, this even though um, this move like it hits a lot of the characters, it works, but it doesn't work against big characters like. Uh, Jack, Marduk, this move, this combo doesn't really work. Okay. I thought of mentioning that. Um, yeah, and one, one more thing to mention, it is safe. Back one is safe. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cheap. It is, it is safe. Yeah, it's just like, like kings, you know, counter, counter back one, you know. Yeah, and I think back one too is minus four. Three. So basically, why do people, why do people what, Mike? Why do people complain about Steve's oh, yeah. back one? Why do people complain about Steve's 13 frame back one when King and Armor King both have 12 frame ones? Because, uh, King, because Steve's is a I bigger hitbox and you know it. Hey. This is one thing, and the second thing, you can't really crush uh, Steve's back one. But with King's Armor King, you can easily crush that move. It's a yeah, special card. It's, it's okay. Steve's <laughs> is a special card. <laughs> yeah, another um, good move for Armor King is his down one neutral four. It's like a quick high crush, you know oh. what I mean? So like, I'm back one block to try and jab retaliate. You can do that probably. It's true. I th um, this is it, it's actually kind of similar to King's step forward, uh, down, down one two. But I like Armor King's version better because it does more damage and it puts you like in a much better frames advantage. And it's only minus ten on block. It's not it's a not natural really combo safe. though. No, it's not. But yeah. on, on counter hit, it is. Okay. And yeah, it is only like minus uh, 10. Mm -hmm. So it's a good move for you to get out of situations. If you're like under pressure, um, you can do it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh, what do you think about his back 1 plus 2? Like, get off me, girl. Get off me. Oh, uh, yeah. It is like... That one's it Kings. Is Kings is way better on that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean... King wins in this regard right? because it's very slow. Compared to King, mm -hmm. it is very slow. Even though it's like plus fourteen on If you're godlike, if you're godlike, you could do a win god fist on Connor. But that's you can really do it, hard. But it's really hard. It's really I've only done it once. <laughs> so <the> guarantee... <laughs> yeah, but for the guaranteed option you can just go for the shoulder. That shoulder sounds a lot easy. better. <laughs> yeah, you can you can just easier input. Especially yeah. like um, behind the wall, you can just simply like that. Oh my god, that sounds bad. That's bad news, man. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, it's really risky because it's it's really slow. You can really get hit and interrupt it. But it has like a little bit of a sidestep, right? No, never mind. Uh, no, it doesn't. I thought it did. It doesn't really have a very, um, a very good range. And it's much slower than King's. It's like 18. Oh yeah, it's like. <laughs> yeah. 
I personally don't use it a lot. I personally don't use it a lot. Uh, what do you, what about um his uh spit on you move? Crouch dash one plus two. Oh, um, I I think this move is kind of I don't know. In, in, in my opinion, really, it's kind of useless. Really? What about like yeah, at the wall? It's like, oh, I got green stuff on me for the rest of the yeah. day. God. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you too. Yeah. <laughs> But the thing is, you can't really get anything uh, like uh, after it, even like in the wall. Really? It's, yeah, you can just simply. Sorry. You can block. You see, even the ten frames, it's not, it's not even guaranteed. The only thing that goes well with it is probably a throw. I thought I thought stuff was guaranteed after it. No, nothing is guaranteed. What? Are you sure? I'm I'm sure. Combo. Yeah, it says combo, but it it's not. It says combo, but I can block. Because I just didn't block. It's Why would it do that? It's false advantage. Damn it. Alright, well. We look like shit now. <laughs> 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 Maybe if I leave him out for a while, it'll clean himself up. Will it? I don't, I don't know. jump off the boat first. We need ring out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, what else is there? Uh, I don't know. Those yeah, are most um, of his key I'll moves. I'll talk about his jabs. Uh huh. Um, yeah, his 10 frames doesn't really do a lot of things, and it, it doesn't really have a um, good range. So his jabs, I think, is below standard in this game. So for your 10 frames punisher, I think it's better for you to do, like, 2-1 um, instead. Okay, so 2-1's a little bit more damage. We'll get to punishers in a second, but when, yeah. when it comes to jab, 2-1's oh. a little bit more damage. 29 instead of 22 for the 1-2. You know, I'm reading the chat, and they're saying that after the crowd has 1 plus 2, you get stuff guaranteed. You just have to do it from a little bit of a different distance. Uh, I, don't think, I don't think so. Oh! From the tip. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be true. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, like maybe like that? Yeah, but I think it's like so specific that your back has to hit the wall, too. Okay, let's go to the wall. I'll do it from the tip at the wall. Just stand at the wall and here, here we go. Did Whoa, you block that? Again? Yeah! yeah. Uh, okay, that was pretty good. I'm gonna yeah, know that. It's like, it's like later on in the frames. Yeah, I remember that now. More plus frames, that's just a true shoulder. Yeah, dude, that's the bike poop. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Just throw it up everywhere, man. It's not even hitting. I know, it's like, it's pretty hard to hit the range, I guess. God. Uh, so situational, but... Yeah, I mean, if you can do it, though, you know, if you know, like, this is the range or something, you know, then, uh, let's I didn't go to this see one. It before. I mean, I'm not really sure if it works. I don't know about that. I well, it worked it. right there, right? Uh... I don't know, it has to be, like, the last hit of the spray at the tip. Oh, you wanna try? Oops. Let's just try, real quick. Boom! I blocked. Is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. See? Well, it's hard to do it in like. Yeah, I know. You gotta, you gotta have it spot Wait, on. Wait, something new for me, really. Yeah, there you go. That. Level up your game. <laughs> I level up my game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank I, you, Chad. I just, I just remembered the move. Yeah, uh huh. Boy, one plus two. I just did that by mistake, and I remembered that. <laughs> um, it's also one of his bound moves. Yeah, it is, and it actually it parries punches. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Built him. Um, I'll jab first. Okay. And then you, you jab. There you See? go. Yeah. And it's actually minus 10 on blocks. But a lot of people don't know that. They simply just won't ah. punish it. Because of the yeah, it's a there's a lot of delay, but uh, you can still punish it. You can still punish it. It's yeah, you gotta wait a long time before you get those jabs out, though. So it's kind of hard. Yeah, like, like if you have a character that could just mash on a button for a natural combo, like all one, one, two, yeah, you know, just do, just mash on one until it comes out, then hit two. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, you can just wait. Um, I just lost you guys for a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, you're still there. It's okay. Oh, okay. So. Are you yeah, he was just—he was just saying. <laughs> he was just saying that if you have a character that can mash your punishing string, like a one-one-two, like Law has, then you can just mash it until it's ready. Oh, okay. But uh, like with other characters, like Armor King, you can't really mash just one-one-one-two, although you'll just get the one jab. So. Yeah. Armor yeah. King's jabs is bad. I mean, they—they they are bad compared to other characters. It's like a little apple. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah. One more thing. Down forward three. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, it's actually a safe move. Um, I believe it is like minus five on block and plus five on hit. Wow, and counter combo. And it's counter hit combo. Whoops, sorry. You basically can get a hit combo out of that. Cool. Uh, another one too, like he could do like wall standing two. Did we talk about that yet? It's like a no. Brian in wall standing three, basically, like on counter hit. It's like twelve frames, counter hit. You know, like yeah. you could tech wall and just mash that out, and it'll come out. And then you know, if you get a counter hit, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not safe, by the way. Even though it looks that it's safe, but it's minus ten on block. Yeah, so it's just like Brian's wall standing three. Twelve frames minus ten. Yeah, same, same, similar concept basically. And it looks like it's gonna high crush as well, right? Uh, oh, they yeah, high crush. I mean, it's, it's hard to test that, but you know, it looks like it's crouching though. Is what I why I thought so. Maybe, Maybe not. Try, try standing four. Standing four. Try to standing four his while standing two, because that has a chunky hitbox. So I'll Just do a jab, like a jab and then yeah, I'll whip a jab and then you do the while standing two. Yeah, see. Oh, it is that was a counter. Yeah, yeah counters. So, oh, okay. okay, maybe it's not the best high crush. Yeah. That time it beat me clean. It's just a, you know online lag or whatever, whatever. But uh, you guys get the point. It's a good move. Wall stand two. Use it. Minus ten only. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What else? I think that's that's that's, it, uh, that's the, I mean the only other thing we could, we should talk about is this. Full crash down for two. Full crash down for two. Oh yeah. Plus one. Oh. Plus one. Plus one. Plus on one. Block. Yeah, plus, plus one. On so it's, giant, giant swing setup move. Yeah. It's yeah, it's true. It is plus one, and of course. Is that it, for a ball? No, no, not it, is not. it is not. But it gives you like a full combo out of a regular hit. Yeah, that's really good. You don't good. really need a counter uh, hit for you to get a full combo. Yeah, it's just a regular hit is necessary. Yeah. It's slower, but it's all right. It is slow. Yeah, but it's pretty slow, but think, it's, it's good, I, I think. It is still a very good move. And it yeah. doesn't crush, so, I mean, you can easily get counter hit during the move. Yeah. But, yeah, but it's still a really good move. Uh, and, and uh, did we talk about... What was that move outside the top of the crap. Uh, I forget. We can talk about oh, uh, down forward 1 plus 2. Is that not a good move? The, the homing move? Homing move? Oh. Um, That's a lot really, of it is kind of, because it doesn't really have a good range. It just no. The range seems pretty safe. good. I mean, no. I was surprised at where it hit me from. No. Kind of I mean, takes like a big step forward. It looks like it's got it a decent kinda, range, but not that great. It, it's it's not bad for homing move though to track that much. I guess so. He gets dash down three plus four guaranteed, and if they get up, he gets the three extension. You know. What was that again? Down four, one plus two, then dash down three plus four, three. Just option down selecting. Three, one plus two? Oh, yeah, and then down, dash, deep dash, down three plus four, three. Oh, really? Yeah, if they try to get up, they'll hit a back turn. If they back roll, they'll float up. Like that. There you go. I see. Uh, but the thing is about this move, I mean, in my opinion, it's just that it has a weak range for its. Uh, Speed. Speed. Yeah. Exactly. Even though it's safe. I mean, that's the good aspect in it. It is safe. Whoopsie. Yeah. But safe. yeah, I mean, if it whiffs, you can easily get launched. And I don't know. I think it's good in certain situations when your opponent is like just docking and trying to get away. Mm -hmm. You can you can utilize that. But okay. during his attack, during his offense, you can't really do it. Otherwise, he will get hit. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Uh, any other moves you can think of really quick, Mike? I have no, a couple that's... to talk, talk about. So, I mean, we, we covered most of his uh, moves, but he's got a couple of new ones uh, in this game, like up forward three and uh, back four. I think those are the two new moves that he got in the game. Uh, up forward three is a, uh, sorry, it's a counter combo starter as well. But uh, I'll let you do it since you're the Armor King player. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can do a full combo off of it and stuff. Pretty good stuff. What's that knee you're doing? Is that crash dash four? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, cross dash four is safe. 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 Uh, it safe. It is safe and it, and it is mid. And it does a wall splat too. Oh damn. 
Yeah, it's the one problem I, yeah, the one problem I had with Armor King was like at the wall. I was like, what do I use the wall splat with? Like four four two is punishable, four 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 is punishable, and I'm like, damn, he doesn't have a safe wall splat move. And then I was like, wait a minute, he has crouch dash four. <laughs> I like, uh, well, damn, that's so tight. I like that. <laughs> and cross dash four, you get a mini combo in the open, too. You get cross dash four and two down back two, three. Oh, okay. And, and, and also, in uh, weird, like, wall situations where walls are to your side, you know how, like, cross dash four sends them on that butt flaunt launcher from really far away, though? Mm -hmm. If you're sideways on the wall and it doesn't wall spot, yeah, you can get that down forward one like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, you, you get a full it combo. It's a safe launcher. Yeah, um, it is like a lot easier to do it with the wall, but you can actually do it yeah. in more walls too. Just if you wow, just if by side stepping, like, huh? Yeah, from side stepping position or, or, or like this, it's, it's really hard. It's not really something to do like you play. Oh, I but see. Yeah, you, that looked really close. Yeah, you can get him. Cool. You got the point. Yeah, so that's up forward. Uh, we for, we started with up forward three. We went to cross dash four, um, <laughs> and then also back four. He's got on regular hit, he's got the stunner extension, so back four into one plus two. And you yeah, can do it. That one though, it's like, uh, it's not as good as Kane's, because like, first hit by itself is uh, minus ten, I believe. Is it really? I mean, I don't think we punish it though, at range. Like, yeah. Maybe. Oh, it has a really good pushback. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people actually like this version better, because you can do it like from far away. Yeah. It's still reach. It's, it's perfect for his facing game too. But yeah, I think um, it is not as safe as Kings, but it is better in terms of range. But Kings is stronger, by the way. It okay. Really? With the throw extension too? Yeah, with the throw extension. Okay, so this is only 35 damage. Kings is like 44. 44. 44. I just yeah. tested it. Yeah. Alright, and then uh, the only other thing I wanted to talk about briefly that King kind of has too is his... Uh, I mean, he's got capital punishment, you know, same as King. Except I think it's up oh. forward one plus two for Armor King and up one plus two for Ar regular King. Is that right? Yeah, it is. It is actually the same input. Okay, but, so they're both uh, up forward. Okay. Yeah, but Armor King's King's like this, fast. Yeah, Kings has like this uh, this startup animation that's retarded. Like, cause King, the difference between King is like you do up one plus two, up forward one plus two, or up forward one plus two, and you hold it, hold for, the it for the unblockable. Yeah, and if you slightly hold it, he kind of crouches there for a bit before he does the regular capital punch. Right. So Play. Yeah, this was the glitch with the the moon the moon bomb. Yeah, and, that, uh, was that was so good, man. <laughs> do do you know about tight. that, Kyle? Where King could do the slow motion capital punishment? Have you ever seen that? We used to do that all the time. That shit was, it was like in fun. DR or Tekken Five. I don't remember. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh man, I, I'm gonna fire that up someday. I'm gonna show you guys because that is too good. Anyway, moving up. Like <laughs> yeah, this moving thing, but yeah, we're talking about Armory King. Yeah, yeah. So uh, um, another thing about Armory King, like his unblockable version is done by tap up forward one plus two and then hold down right after it, and he can yeah. turn around too. It's pretty cool, and it hits grounded. So if they stay down, boom. Yeah, I found the combo with the uh, with the capos that you could just combo that at the end. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> The unblockable because it's so fast. Uh huh. You you combo it at the end of the at the end of this combo. Well, I have to learn that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. So I think we covered most of his key moves, if not all of them. Um. I mean, you know what? I don't understand with this guy. Why is down for two and down two like almost the same move? Like, why does he have this option? Um. It's actually different. It's not. Uh, they're not really the same. I mean, I know they're both bound moves, but yeah. They're both bound, but this is. Safe, and this is not. This is like yeah, it's minus twelve or something. It's minus twelve. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. But and it I, has the like extension, extension to it, so you can like get uh, mix up your opponent. Even if he tries to punish. Yeah. I'm trying move. to punish right now. That's what's happening. Even yeah. though the second, about by the way, the second move is is high. So if you if your opponent predict that, you can like dodge the launch. Yeah. And on the counter hit. Yeah, it flips, you can just get um slight combo out of it. Yeah, we didn't talk about his stomp back, that's only when he's grounded, right? Only oh, when the yeah. opponent's grounded, he can do multiple stomps with by down four repeatedly. Down four repeatedly. Yeah. You can get up to three. Yeah. That's how you stomp in them like a piece of you know. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> right. Alright, um that's his talk main stuff. His, his throws now? Yeah, we can talk about his throws. 
Well, uh, just like Yanks, he mm -hmm. has like the Shining Wizard. That's not a Shining Wizard, by the way. It looks the same. <laughs> okay. <I'm kidding. laughs> he has so, a yeah. Shining Wizard. So running 2 plus 4. Running 2 plus 4. And he has the Giant Spin. I think these two, uh, two throws are key throws for Armor King as well. Um, and yeah, I think, should we cover the Giant Swing like, in more details? We did that for King. Yeah, That's I mean, yeah, it's the same game. thing. Like, if, if his back yeah. is to the wall, it's going to throw him at the wall and it's going to hit him. So right now, my I'm going to hit the wall because his back was facing the wall when, before he did the giant swing. So in these situations, you want to uh, t break a one throw so you don't need that much uh, damage against him. Uh, and you can even tech roll that. I mean, yeah, you can tech roll the giant space. swing as well. Yep. So right now, that. you should be mashing buttons like I'm doing. And then you can tech roll it for less damage. The camera went, cameraman got hella confused right there, but that's alright. I'll let him slide. <laughs> and uh, one good throw that he has is like the Doomstone as well. He has that. Okay, and what's the and, notation for that? Um, down back, forward, 2 plus 4. Boom! And that's the same for Kings, right? Yeah, it is the same. Yeah, so. And, and it does the same damage too, but the animation okay. is slightly different. Yeah, so that's kind of a mix up between Giant Swing for a 1 and a 2, basically. Uh, um, with King, he's also got that, um, what is it, Corsica forward or Corsica back 1 plus 2 grab into tag? Oh yeah, Army King has that too. Yes, yeah, so yeah. that's a regular grab, but it, you can also tag it since you have King. And BOOM! People like that, they may not know how to do it. <laughs> well, it does the, this 50 in damage. Okay. 45, 45 I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, and you know, you can take a look at his, um... His movelets, if you guys want to learn all his command grabs, because he does have a command grab. I think it starts with a two, though. Is that right? Um, yeah. that's a two. Yeah. But yeah, this basic command, or you know, you can take a look at the move list and uh, learn the extensions out of it. Oh yeah, he also has some really useful ground grabs. Oh, okay. Um, if you like down grab with one plus three, it's the hit. And if you do that with, hold on, with two plus four, you just I'll bring him back up again. And of course, you break the. Can we get? Yeah, we should get away from the wall. Okay. You break the head with the with the one. Mm-hmm. You break like the get up throw with the, with the two. Yeah. So basically the. The flapjack thing, that's going to be a one break, and the one where he gets him and pushes you is going to be a two. The two throw is most common when you're at the wall though, right? That's right. It's going to give him more damage. You can get... Um, the two throw, you can actually inject that during your combo. And with the wall splat, you get a free back one. One, two. Yeah, free back one two, which is a twelve frame punisher. So basically, uh, if he's doing a combo and he ends it with uh, his combo with down forward one, is that what it was? Then most likely he's gonna try and grab you and uh, go for the mix up, basically, it's like that. Alrighty, anything else about his throw game we should mention? Um. Oh yeah, he has the Frankish Steiner too. Oh yeah, and it's also tag bufferable. Yep. It's tag bufferable. And the only way for you to get out of that, it's, it's not really breakable. The yeah. only way for you to get out of that is just to crouch, crouch the like Yeah. Uh, the other move that I, used to, I love is Booker T leg drop. Boom! Up, up four, three plus four. I don't know why I like this move. It hits grounded. That I always awesome, like it. Man. I always love that move. Just throw it out <laughs> because you can tech roll after it too. It's just like, keep out. Yeah, exactly. yeah, just like that. Yeah, I like that move. Uh, I'm not really sure when to use that move, it's just that... Just throw it out! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just throw it out, basically. Like, you know, mix up your throw balls! I don't want to... <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Uh, Alright, so I think that's most of his throw game. Um, really quick, I'll go over his homie moves. We already covered them all, but uh, down forward 1 plus 2 is his mid one. It's long range, and he has 4 4 3, which is the high one, but leaves him in a better OT situation, and it's a little bit faster. Uh, that's his home moves for his bound moves. He's got forward 1 plus 2, which we showed you. He's got down forward 2. He's got down 2, which is like a slower version of down forward 2. He's got down back 1 plus 2. And he's got side step 2 1, aka death sandwich. Uh, both of his tandem combos are listed as bound moves, but it's only because they start with down forward 2. Um, other than that, that's all of his bound moves. 
uh, attack buffer moves, like we just showed you, he's got the Frankensteiner one. Uh, you know, you can get free uh, attack when you tag in. Uh, he also has Crouch S2, aka his Dark Upper. And, you know, that's tag buffer as well, and it's while standing one. And that's it, he's only got those three moves for uh, tag bufferable moves. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, do you think, I mean, I don't know if we want to show him his tenant. Do we want to show him his tenant, Mike? Hey. Mike's not listening. Well, yeah, it ends with 1 plus 2, 2. Yeah, and then it goes into like this dope ass uh, Corsica Ford 1 plus 2 thing. If you guys haven't seen it, check out his move list and check out the tenant. And the and tenant number 2, because that one is sick. Trust me. I don't, I don't even remember how to do his tenant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just that good. Moving on. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about his Punishers. Alright, his Punishers. Uh, as mentioned, his 10 frames Punisher is either Dabs, that's 22, or 2-1. Yeah. 2-1, of course, is the better option. Yeah, it's 29 damage. damage versus 22 damage, so you want to use 2-1 if you can reach. And for his... Uh, he doesn't have 11, that's his 11 frames Punisher too. Mm -hmm. For 12, he has back one too. This is 12 frames. Yep. He does 36 in damage. Not that great in terms of damage, but I think um, it is. It has like plus six uh, frames advantage on hit. Okay. And that's what makes it special, not the damage. Yeah. For 14, he has obviously his dark upper. Mhm. Mm but it's hard to punish that with 14 frames. You you need a lot of practice. Yeah. For the shoulder, that's forward. Um. So One plus four. four, yeah. And a fifteen. He has the hop kick. Exact the mundo. Yep. For uh, his couch punishers. Mhm. Mm While standing four, that's for his twelve. That's his 14. eleven frame, right? Um, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yep. In 14, actually. He doesn't have a 14 frames. What? Down. Really? From a standing position. Yeah. So his wall stand is 4 is his best thing up to 15 frames where he gets the hop kick? Up, and that's it. Exactly. Wow. For and then his 16, wall stand... He has wall standing 1. Yeah, so wall standing 1 is 16 frames, not 15. 16 Interesting. Frames. Yeah, um, compared... I think King is the better Punisher compared to Army King. And that's one of the well, few aspects of King's better. And how um, fast is a uh, forward 2-1? That's 15. Okay, so 4 two, one is your other option if you don't want to hop kick them for whatever reason. Maybe oh, yeah. they're close to the wall or something, and I don't know. You just want to do that instead. Absolutely. Yeah. It does more damage. Mm -hmm. It's his 15 frames punisher for a wall slap. Instead of okay. hop kicking, I think yeah. this is a better option. Okay, that makes sense. That's it for his punishers. Cool. Alright, so that's pretty much a lot of his stuff. I mean, is there anything that we're strikingly missing here other than anti Armor King stuff? For a new player learning the game, not for experts out there. <laughs> I don't think so. Mike, anything you can think of? Pretty much about what I talk about his deck colors. Maybe. Oh yeah, Everything. combos. We should talk about combos. Oh, combos. Let's before do those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. For combo, um, I don't have a hotkey. That's, that's not a hotkey. Nope. You get down forward one, one plus two. So down forward one, one, one plus two, two, plus two, two down two, two, and then some kind you of go. filler. Yeah. No, 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 I'm just saying it as you do it. I'm just, yeah. I'm not, I don't know how to do it. No, <laughs> um, I mean, you get the notations. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so down forward one, one plus two, two, down two for the bound. King's gonna fill with something, and he's gonna end it with Crouch Dash four into the Shining Wizard. God damn, really? So that's the ender, huh? So yeah. after the, after your, wow, that's a crazy combo. I kind of like it. So one more time, down forward one, one plus two, two, down two for the bound. Tagasol filler, multiple hits into the Shining Wizard. So that was a three hit um, Tagasol filler you used before you used the two hit, I think, right? With King, and that's yeah. how you got the cross dash four into the Shining Wizard Ender? That's right. Okay. Actually, for, for Armor King, he just uh, mostly finishes with um, his combos with the air throw. Okay. He does like uh, 20 in damage, and that's even more than King's in this game. Okay. So whatever you do, just end it with the. Uh, of course, if you don't want to uh, get him into the wall, do the earth throw. But for you to like reach the wall, mm -hmm. you do forward one. Forward two uh, one. Forward two one. Got it. Forward two one. Cool. Uh, so is that that that's like kind of the most most of his combos and we showed the combo variations on some of his other um okay we can out of like 
You don't really have a, um, a lot of options here. Yeah. You just have to down right away. And that's all forward three, not cross dash four, huh? The, uh, the knee yeah. that you're using, right? Yeah. 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 yeah cross dash four. Three. Okay. Up forward three. Got it. <laughs> You could also do it after, like, if you do counter down back three, you could do all standing four, down two, bring in king, and then do four, two, two, one, up four, three with armor king, and then shining wizard two. Yeah. It's kind of harder, but. Uh, you, got, you gotta do it, like, pretty much as the same hit as the last hit on the four, two, two, one. It's not, it's not, it pops them up higher up though, after the four, three. So and while the forward two two one is going, uh, you want to time the up forward three to hit the last hit right there. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of difficult. It. Yeah, I think the lag is open too. So. One last time. No, yeah, yeah, it's it's hard. I mean, you want to do that basically while the while the two two one is going on, basically the forward two two one from our, from King. But you guys get the idea. Uh, so let's talk about his uh, tag assault fillers. So say King starting the combo. What's Armor King gonna fill with? Actually, Armor King doesn't really have a lot of options here. His only tag, good tag filler would be like a 3 plus 4 and then 3. Okay, so yeah. 3 plus 4, 2, handspring elbow? Yeah, it doesn't really have any other options. You just you basically have to make this work. You know what else is good too that I found out when I was playing uh, Armor King and Lars is that uh, 3 plus 4, 1 is actually better for Lars. So 3 plus 4, 1, the, the, the flip. Really? Uh huh. Yeah, because like uh, 3 plus 4, 2. You know, Lars could get his forward four two into the dash into the one ender, but uh, it's a lot easier if you do the one instead. Oh, you know, okay. It keeps him the closer. Same. Yeah, it keeps him closer and it pops him up higher, and then uh, it, you know it does the same damage, I think. Um. But the thing is, yeah, I mean, for um, with a lot of the characters, you don't really uh, have to use the one. The two does more damage. And it has a better wall carry too. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, with most of the characters, just um, 3 plus 4, 2 would work the best for Armor King. Yeah, and at the wall too, you could you also use 3 plus 4, 1. Uh, it's also a really good wall filler too. Like for a wall combo? Like uh, as a tag assault wall, wall filler? Mm hmm. At the wall, okay, so like at the wall combo, you're saying? What was yeah. that again? He's saying 3 plus 4, 1 as a filler against the wall. Oh yeah, I mean... You can get... Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, I'll not miss up this time. <laughs> I see, just... But if for his... Um, I think for his standard, like... A wall fillers, it would be. Just forward 2 1. Forward 2 1. Forward 2 1. Or uh, 1 plus 2, 2. Okay. So basically, for tag yeah. salt fillers with Armor King at the wall, you want to use 3 plus 4 1, or forward 2 1, or 1 plus 2 2. That's it. He doesn't really have the strongest uh, wall fillers. Mm hmm. But uh, they're kind of decent. Okay. And uh, really quick, let's show them a combo. Basically, if Armor King starts, like say with the four two one to wall splat the opponent, let's show them the wall combo that he gets. Hmm. Okay. Walk us through what that was. Was that a uh, four one plus two to bound? Oh, uh, one plus two. Oh, let's go again. Forward two one. Mm -hmm. Forward one plus two. Then down forward one, uh, forward one plus four. Yeah, okay. Okay, got it. So, so basically, forward two one into wall, forward one plus two, filler, down forward one, shoulder. That's it. Yeah, I think you could also use down back one plus two to bind and does a little bit more. Down back one, oh, I see, the slower bound. Like this, yeah, you you can't really get it from a low spanning position. It, it doesn't hit against a lot of the other characters. Yeah, it's like inconsistent on some things, but yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you, you do it sure. like if you. Oh, yeah, I see. It's safer to do it that way. So out of like a wall carry situation. Out of a wall carry situation, exactly. Got it. From wall splat, it, it's not really consistent. Yeah, and if you were ending a combo with Armor King in the open and you wanted a wall carry, you would end it with forward 2 1, is that right? Forward 2 1, that's right. Okay. Yeah. And the solo combo after forward 2 1 is just like forward 2 1, bind, and down forward 1, down forward 4, shoulder. But the down forward 1, down forward 4, shoulder doesn't work on every character. 
But it works on most characters, so, like bigger characters. The shoulder? No, you can do down forward one, down forward four, then shoulder. Yeah. Down forward one? And then down oh, forward okay. four after that, yeah. You can no, do that? No, 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 forward two one, and then uh, bind. And then just do down two, crouch cancel, down forward four, down forward one, down forward four. I bind first. Solo combo, right, Mike? So just Armor King by himself oh. at a wall combo? Yeah. No, no, down forward one, down forward four. Down for oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. got it. Sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Bound, down forward one, down forward four, shoulder. Aha! Yeah. Yep. It that works uh, against the bigger characters. That's, yeah. That's true. Against females, it will not, it will not work. Yeah, might as well, you just have to go for down forward one shoulder on them. Okay, cool. And Eris in the chat, he says for a tag assault filler, you can also use up two as a filler with Armor King. Oh, yeah. Um, for yeah. Bruce, actually, oh. like, Armor King Bruce is actually better to do, like, Whee! off wall. Oh, wow. Yeah, on, on as the Armor King, as a wall filler on the wall, you could use a uh, sidestep 2 1. And, like, Armor King Bruce, that's the most preferred. Uh, you know, f filler? Tag filler. Interesting. Yeah. Filler? Because uh, it's because sidestep two one. It's uh first hit in the first hit of tag assault. It doesn't count as a wall hit, and the second hit's a, a spike move right away. So it doesn't also doesn't count towards the wall hit. Also, so Bruce, Bruce can do like forward three one or something into down back two one four. Yeah, or just maybe forward three then down back okay. two one four. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. King doesn't get anything. Like that's sorry. <laughs> cool. Um, the character. All right, is that it then? We covered a lot of stuff, I think. Uh, oh, one thing. Uh, do we talk about the giant swing Oki? Air giant swing. Air giant oh. swing oh, Oki. Okay. I'll just jump up and you can giant swing me. All right, let's just let you do a combo. <laughs> it's, easier. it's easier if I launch you. There you go. If they try to quick stand, you could do down forward down four, forward. down forward one. Okay. Yeah, and down. then you could do down, down, you know, down two to bind right away and put them in the same situation over and over again. So it's okay. kind of like that. It's, it's, it's simply his standard. Kind of like being barf the episode. Try to move. Yeah, I'll try to get up right now. Down forward one. I'm close to. Okay. That's your head. Lag, man. I know, there's one bar right now. People can see that, don't worry. <laughs> Let me just wait till it reaches 4 5 again. Oh, wow. That's magical. How do you. Your internet is amazing. <laughs> Can't even join soon. There you go. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get up. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, uh. The camera is screwed you up. The camera screwed you up? That's a good excuse. I like it. There you go. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Basically, ended the same way. Right. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. I don't know if they could back roll that, but I'm pretty sure it'll flow either or, so. Yeah, I think so too. I'm gonna back roll. So it's pretty dangerous. Oh, it doesn't. No, 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 you do use down forward four then. Use down forward four. You should, you should pick up back rolls too. Down forward down four? four? Yeah, down forward four, that ugly, you know, mid kick. Miss Mike. No. Mash it. Uh, yeah, I think it the only way for you to get it is just to oh, 3 plus 4. Yeah, 3 plus 4. Oh, almost no like Ah! Uh. <laughs> okay. I'm back rolling, I swear. Ah, oh, okay, dang it. Go. Yeah, okay. You guys get the basic idea. Uh, let, let's switch gears real quick. Let's talk about uh, anti armor king stuff. I mean, like we mentioned 4 2 1, second it is high. So you want to duck that? Uh, his back one two or back two one? I mean, uh, which one is it? Is it what, what the hell is the string? He's got a couple strings with his second tie. <laughs> no, yeah, it's um four two one. Um, one plus two two. One plus two two. There's another one. It looks like um, what am I thinking of? It's there? Yeah. One plus. Two. But he has a one plus two four. You know? it, that's it. Down four oh, yeah. two one. Yes. Down four two one. Second, it is also high. Anything else? <laughs> is, it um, is it true you can jab him out of 3 plus 4, like the extension? Try it? 3 plus, three plus 4? Yeah, I'll, try to, like, I'll try to jab, like, but uh. Oh, yeah. 
getting blocked. On block, Mike? Yeah, that's what I heard from. No uh, way. Unreliable sources. Well, we traded yeah, that time. Oh, oh my god, I hella did it. Can't do that. Yep. Wow. I guess the source is reliable. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's, that's a really good anti arm strat. If you can train yourself to do it. Oh, did you want to try it? Sorry. <laughs> he doesn't believe it. Sucks, man. <laughs> now he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, God damn it! This move used to be so good. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this character is good. Hmm. No one knows that. <laughs> nope, they're not watching this either, Kyle. Don't worry. Yeah. I no know. one going to final round is watching this. It's the whole East Coast is watching this right now. <laughs> oh man, we should have waited. <laughs> Why did we do these episodes so early? <laughs> yeah, it's okay, Kyle. That, it's even better now. They think they're gonna beat him. <laughs> now he's gonna do three plus four and then down jab into the giant swing or something. Yeah. He can just stop. Oh man, that's even better. Oh, that's so good. Watch this. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh yeah. We got mix ups and mix ups now. Let's go, East Coast. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, other than that, you know, his, we talked about this move right here. It's launch punishable. Both parts are launch punishable, but um, basically, um, if they try to interrupt it, that's what the second is for. Uh, but if you block it, you know, same thing. This move is also launch punishable. Down back three on block. Uh, what else is there from? This move is minus 10. Um, I don't know if you 12, want to try to interrupt it though. Oh, minus 12. Is it really minus 12? Yeah, yeah. we tested it earlier. We tested it, remember? No, oh. I don't remember. Yeah, we did. Oh yeah, Kyle corrected me. I remember, I remember. All right, you got it, Kyle. You're the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so one thing you should watch out. So a lot of Armor King players, they're just looking to whiff punish with uh, Crouch Dash 2, or they're just going to come in and Crouch Dash 2 just to crush a high. So if you if you're playing against Armor King and he's using a lot of Crash Dash twos, like you can just kind of bait him to do it and then just come in and duck. That's usually your best uh -huh. bet. You know what? Another good thing against Armor King is a lot of Armor Kings like to use capital punishment a lot, especially when expecting a raw tag. Yeah. So it's, it's raw tagging. Try to like float him, or you could sidestep away from him and kill him for it. So. Yeah. So during a uh, capital punishment, go ahead and do it to me, uh, Kyle. I mean, yeah, you you can step it pretty easily, but uh, if you stop stepping, you're gonna get owned. So. Boom. Make sure you kill him for it. Yeah, because uh, it's going to be a really annoying move if you don't kill him for it or if you, if you just let him do it to you all day. And one more thing, actually, yeah, for Capital Punishment, if you don't really sidestep that a lot, Army King players will abuse that. Oh, yeah. It is, it, is very, it, um, it is a very good move, and it has a very good frames advantage, too. Uh, and it does a lot of damage, so if you don't really know how to deal with it, Army King players will abuse that. That's the last thing you want to. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, hmm. Anti Armor King. I mean, there's not a lot. He's a pretty solid character. It's not really like a really get out of jail free card against them. Well, that's true. I don't think he has an obvious weakness because depending on the way you play, you can actually get rid of a lot of um, a lot of his weaknesses. So depends on how your character is playing Armor King really for you to adapt. He doesn't really have any obvious obvious weaknesses in life. No, yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Four to one, hella good. Cool. I think that about wraps it up. I mean, you know, obviously he's got a good throw game. You know, you got giant swing, shiny wizard grab. Watch out for that if he's running at you from across the screen like this. Like this, oh, it's probably gonna be a grab. You know, like, I mean, you know, typical uh, king, uh, armor king kind of stuff. Throws mixed up with hop kicks. Be aware of that. Anything else you guys want to throw in there for anti armor king stuff? Uh, what else? that's about it, I think. Yeah, try to try to predict his uh, try to predict his crash dash ones and crash dash twos. A lot of armor king players like to come in with crash dash one. If you can predict that, duck it, launch. Yeah, both of them are high. It's a good yeah. point, Mike. Uh, another key move I think we didn't really emphasize enough was uh the fact that he has crash dash into wall standing four. I think that's a really key move for armor king. Oh yeah, because you can close distance within just off the wall standing four. <laughs> And it's mid and it's like plus five. To six. <laughs> it's a great move. Cool. Okay, so cross dash. Yeah, I mean, he's, as we mentioned, you know, he's similar to Mishima in that he has a normal wave dash. So, you know, his cross dash while standing four, good option. Especially because his sparks, other than like, safe on block too. 
Yeah, and actually, if you're an Armor King player and you find that people are ducking your crouch dash in or whatever, you could just always cancel it down back into while standing one. Yeah. You know? Armor King has this uh, a couple weird things too with the Giant Swing and Shining Wizard. You could actually do Giant Swing and Shining Wizard from a crouch dash. Like, this gi the Giant Swing from a crouch dash looks really weird, actually. Uh, How do you do that? No, that was a really smooth one, but there's like an input where you could do like back, half circle forward, and do like a you know, like cross dash motion in between that, and then he'll do like a really weird thing like that. It's like <laughs> Wait, one more time. Do it, do it, do it again so on the he, camera. He, he cross dashes in, waist, and he goes like that. Bro, okay, I swing. can't tell, but all right. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know how to do it, the exact notation, but someone knows what I'm talking about. Alrighty. And the, and the other one you could do, you could do Shining Wizard from cross dash too. Because the first motion, motion you put Ooh, in that was sick, yeah. Yeah, the first motion you input, you can do it from like range zero too. You don't even have to do it from like far away. So it's like the first in forward input counts as your first initial forward for the Shining Wizard. And basically you do core circle forward, that's your second input, then another forward, that's your third input, and two plus four. And if you do it correctly, you get a clean cross dash into the Shining Wizard. So, so you're saying do forward, neutral, core circle forward, forward, two plus four. Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of hard. <laughs> The way no, I there's, there's a the timing to it. Okay. Well, try it out, guys. MYK said it's possible, so it probably is. The way I did it a second ago, I did um forward and two, just the, the regular crouch test, forward, neutral, down, down, forward. And then I just yeah. put forward, forward input. So, and that worked really well for me. So, try those two out, I guess. It'll maybe help your Shining Black, aka Shining Wizard game. Where did Shining Black come from? I'm pretty sure that's not even the official move name. Just because Armor King's black. Oh, damn. All right. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. All right. I'm not, that was enough. All right, Mike. This is all on you, man. Everyone, that was Mike right wow. here. Yep. You guys heard him. He like jet. Like what? I'm gonna call King Yellow. All right, man, dude. <laughs> 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 it's going too far. All, all right, right. All right. Just, 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 just be quiet, Mike. We got this. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle, for joining us on this episode. Um, maybe we'll bring you back for. We already did Steve. Who's your other characters? Kazuya. Uh, we do Kazuya? Yeah. We did Kazuya too. <laughs> All right, well, we may never see you back on the show again, so thanks for joining us for King and Armor King. Uh, for everyone else, if you're watching this right now, go ahead and hit that follow button on the Twitch channel. Otherwise, for the rest of you guys, follow us at Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube.com slash levelupyourgame, as well as Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. There's one more, Facebook.com slash levelupyourgame. And check out the website at levelupyourgame.com, and we will catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh. Good morning.